Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking at the second chapter here, which is about the image handling. So in image handling, we have to cover cropping an image, adjusting image size, increasing the size of the work canvas and saving an image. So we'll look at all these things in this particular video. So let us check out some of the images that I have already opened. Now these are the PDF uh, PSD files that is the Photoshop files. So all these images are given in terms of you know layers. All the layers are present. So I'm not introducing you to the concept of layer. Now as you can see in this image, in this image, uh, this portion here, which is all the dotted, uh, I mean as you can see there are squares, white and gray squares. This is showing that this image is a transparent image, and this is all the colored portion of this given image. Now I'll take this image, I'll copy this image and I'll copy it somewhere else, maybe some other canvas and we can increase the size of the image, we can check out how to crop the image and so on. Okay. So I'll just uh, copy this control plus A or you can say command plus A and then command plus C that is copy. So in windows you can use control also instead of command. Then I'll click command plus N, a new uh, window will pop up. So this is about creating a new document here. And the first option here is clipboard. So that, that means I want to uh, create a new document which is of the size that I've already copied. And this is presenting what is the background color, whether I want to background color as some other color or I want to make it as brown, white, black or transparent or custom, anything I like. So I just want to go with a white color background and I'm going to create a new document. So in this document, I'll do command plus V. That means I just copied that original file. Okay. Now, as you can see here, the options that we have to cover here is the first option is cropping an image. How can you crop an image? So assuming this is the image that we have. So uh, actually, first of all, let us resize the image before cropping it. To resize, I'll uh, press command plus T. So after pressing the command plus T, I'll have these kind of dotted square brackets here. Now. I can just shift press shift with drag and drop so that the size doesn't change. So you can change the size or you can just increase or decrease the size of the image. So assuming I just want to decrease the size. So I decrease the size by this much and then I will click here or I can also click here by saying confirm the transmission transformation. So I just click here. So transformation is confirmed and now I can drag the image and drop the image anywhere in the portion I like. So I just dragged and dropped it here. So to change the size of an image, you have to use command plus T so that you can change. You can get this option with this. You can either increase the size. You can decrease the size as, as much as you like. According to a requirement, you can increase or decrease the size of the document. Okay. Now, if you want to crop the image, now for that purposes, I'm going to go to this crop tool as you can see. In this crop tool, you can also press C on your keyboard. Go to this crop tool and now you can crop the image according to the requirement. So you can crop it as much as you like. I just want to crop it here till all the portions are there. So as you can see, I just cropped the image. After setting the area to which I have to crop, I just click here and the image is now cropped. Okay. Now. The next portion here is about increasing the size of the work canvas. So how can you increase the size of the work canvas? Assume I want to copy this area. Uh, uh, so this entire is actually a canvas. So there are two ways of increasing the size of the canvas. Either you can increase the size of the canvas in here itself or you can create a new canvas. So command plus C and go to command plus N. And now you can see here this is representing the width and height of the canvas. So width is this much and height is this much. So I can just double it. Maybe I can make it as uh, 1200 and I can make the height is also as 1200. Either you can create a new document which is having a greater size of the canvas or you can also change the size of the canvas from here itself. So to increase the canvas size or decrease the canvas size, select the image that you want. Go to image section. And from here, you can see image size as well as canvas size. So image size is the size of this image. So how much bigger I want, I can, for example, let us say I want to make it as 60 pixels or you can say 60 inches. So the size of the image will automatically be increased or 
I can also increase or decrease the canvas size. So this is the canvas. So this is given in centimeters. So maybe I can just decrease the canvas size as let us say uh, 50. So I decreased the canvas size to 50 ratio 40. So as you can see the canvas size is now decreased. Now earlier I took a square image but now this is representing a width as 60 centimeters and the height as 50 centimeters. I can also change the canvas size you can see. So go to canvas size let us say I want to make the width of this canvas as let us say 70 centimeter and height is still 40 centimeters. So just click on this you can see the canvas size is increased. So why we are having a red color here. I can easily do this I mean you can change the color here. So assuming I want a white color go to this canvas size and now let us say I want to make the width as 60. Now you can see the width is now 60 centimeters and the height is now 40 centimeters. But if I just want to change the image size, so image size will be increased in proportions. So let us say I want to make the image size as 50. So as you can see both these values are changing proportionately. So I can also make it as let us say 40. So both these values are going to change proportional proportionately. So I'm just going to increase or decrease the image size at the same time I can also increase or decrease the canvas size. Now next is how to save an image. So go to file and you can click on save. So it will show up dialog box where you want to save. Let us say I want to save on the desktop. So let us say it is XYZ image and you can change the format. Now here you get multiple options. Either you want to save the image as BMP file, you want to save the image as JPEG file or you want to save it as Photoshop PDF, Photoshop RAW, PNG. There are so many different formats are available. Assuming I just want to save it as JPEG file. So I just select JPEG. Now I want to name the file and then I'll just click on save. So it will ask what is the quality of image that you want to save. Let us say I want to save the maximum quality. So from here also you can select that you want to save the image in low quality, medium quality, high quality or maximum quality. And then you just click on OK. So this image is now saved. Okay.